Let's open it up to question and answers then. Let's do that. Yes. The DNA RNA, the nucleic acids that we utilize in cell food DNA are not human. We're not going around taking them from dead people. We're not, it's not stem cell. We're not using stem cells in the research of DNA RNA. Yes, in the back. Coffee is not the ideal environment for cell food. But the best media for taking cell food is reverse osmosis deionized water, roadie water. Now, I realize that that is not you know, available to everybody because it's a pretty expensive process to have one of these machines installed in your house. But uh, that is the best media to put cell food into. It must be in a liquid environment. You cannot take cell food and just put it into your mouth and hope that it works. It doesn't, need, it doesn't work that way. It requires a liquid media. Uh, best is water. Second best is a filtered or purified water, much the same as you'd find your bottled water in a store. After that, probably tap water, and after that, juice. Uh, interestingly, the creator of the product, Everett Story, took his in grape juice. Don't know why, but he did. Thought I'd share that with you. Absolutely, this is a great question. Uh, the question is about uh, insulin-dependent diabetics. I'm assuming it's, it's type 2? Type 1, interesting. We've never done any studies on type 1 diabetes. There is a study that's been done on type 2 diabetes, and we've actually seen a reduction in need for insulin. And in fact, there's a few cases, a few reported cases, about uh, a ceasing of a need at all for uh, increased insulin. So cell food has been, cell, this is, we're talking about the cell food concentrate product. Uh, cell food has been shown to be very beneficial for type 2 diabetes. I don't know the relation between type 2 and type 1, so I can't answer for type 1. All the way in the back. The only contraindication that I am aware of through, you know, 30 some odd years of commercial availability is for, and I'm just lost it, just a blood thinner. Coumadin, thank you. That is the only contraindication that we know about for cell food, and it's not even 100% accurate. We have seen in some studies a slight change in blood readings uh, after using cell food and Coumadin together, but it's not always, it's not 100% of the time. So we do always mention it that uh, if somebody's taking Coumadin that they should consult their healthcare practitioner. The rest of the drugs that you mentioned, we don't have anything that indicates that cell food should not be taken with those. In fact, this is something that if somebody is taking any type of prescribed pharmacological drug, pharmaceutical drug, they should consult their healthcare practitioner to monitor their blood readings as they're taking cell food. Cell food will increase the bioavail bioavailability of virtually anything that is introduced into the body. So if somebody's taking uh, any type of drug, or even, even let's just say a nutrient, if you're taking 100 milligrams of vitamin C, when you're taking cell food at the same time, you see a higher uh, bioavailabi bioavailability or higher measurement in the bloodstream of that vitamin C without cell food. So um, you, should, you should monitor it, Jim. Very good point. Thank you. Yes. Okay. For those of you that couldn't hear, she's talking about using cell food topically again for the removal of mole. And I think she also said something about uh, the removal or the uh, diminishing age spots. Is that right? The doctors were describing a situation that causes the, the pigmentation to skin, uh, the pigmentation to change in the skin and to, to form these age spots. And they actually related it to uh, having age spots on your brain. It was really, it was really interesting, the, the study that they were doing. And apparently the DNA RNA and the cell food together used not only sublingually but also topically, they were able to clinically show the decrease of age spots. Pretty surprising. We're not able to, the, the, our society up here doesn't recognize them as, as uh, credible journals for publication, so we weren't able to use the information, but I found it extremely interesting to find that they were using DNA, RNA topically, uh, as well as sublingually to remove age spots, so good information. There. <laughs>